It's a little before 7 a.m. and we are traveling waterways um, on our way into Stockholm. It's a beautiful uh, area here. Lots of uh, homes along the way. Islands. Lovely place. Here's a uh, someone who has uh, they look like they have their own, pretty much their own private island. A few houses. Someone here has their own little private island. Um, they're still building on it on the other side. coming up behind the trees uh, with a little gazebo in the woods. This one I'm wondering if it's a resort. This is uh, way too big to be just a house. This must be a resort. Now here is a house I would love. A short walk through the old town then we are gonna visit the royal palace the official residence of our royal family even though they don't live 70 centimeters higher than the Baltic Sea so that's why we have to look underneath us right at this moment a divorce corner we call that in Sweden because most families here have a boat. When you get to the locks, that's where you start planning your divorce. That's where you start arguing.
smaller boats though. The bigger ones had to go around the South Central Island ahead of us and the really big ones had to go in to Lake Manor south of Stockholm. But if you can glimpse a little bit of water down to your right there, well that is fresh water whereas the water on your left is the Baltic Sea. So there is no river between the two waters or anything like that. Greater Stockholm has around 2 million inhabitants, almost 2 million. In the inner city though, and there's 14 islands, well, around 800,000. So it's not that big after all. 